Uh, there's a million games to watch. Mm. I see Niet is hosting, but Bully is inviting me. Let's just watch some more Bully. Bully versus Pi. Two more friends of mine. You think Pi will do better than you? Papa Panda versus Sero. I think I'll sit out on that. I'm sure we get to watch some Sero, guys, but that's going to happen later tonight. All right, eighty percent of you guys was correct. It was indeed a two-zero for Bully. Let's do Bully versus Pi. Mm -hmm. Give you guys ten minutes. Mm -mm -mm. No space there, call either exclamation mark B or exclamation mark bracket. Fear Dragon has gotten himself into a proper pickle. What kind of pickle? I need to find Victoria. Hmm? Oh. Mm -hmm. Let's get it on. Round one. Fight. In the bottom right side of Gresvan, we are looking at the 4,800 MMR Protoss. He is the American. This is Bully. Took out Lethal. But can he also take out Lethal's better half? In the top left side, we are looking at the main base of our very passionate Polish Starcraft 2 fan. We call him Polish Pie. A cheeky Zerk. Uh, some of them do Dragon Elf, so we kind of addressed that earlier. Dragon Elf is writing in the chat. I'm just curious how the top tier players play against much lower tiered players and whether they just let them have some fun. That really depends on who we are watching. I think uh, a guy like Sero will definitely let them just build up a little bit, let them do their thing and then defend and then end up winning. But then you also have the likes of Goblin, who will just absolutely smash you with proxy 2-gate or 3-gate Robo or 4-gate of one gas just because they want to get it over with. So that is very player dependent. Some pros will let you do their thing. Some people are all business and try to just get it over with as quickly as possible. Uh, it's all good, Ayogu. As long as you're a good boy, mate, I am not bothered by it. <laughs> We've got a one gate fast expand for Bully. And he forced Pi to expand elsewhere. Now, when Zerg players get blocked on Gresvon, guys, we are used to seeing them expand over here or over here. Seeing them expand in the center of the map is not something I'm super familiar with. To be completely honest. Now, are we going to follow this up then with a like little Link Flood, Link Bane, Link, Link Roach? What is it going to be, Pi? You know, the longer it goes, the harder it gets. So we may as well get a little dirty here. Hmm. Dark won a best of three in KSL last night in under 10 minutes of game time. Yeah, but KSL is not exactly the same as going up against somebody that's four leagues below you, right? I think uh, if you're playing in a tournament against your peers, fellow competitors, you can try to win as quickly as you possibly can. That's obviously okay. Whenever I play in these tournaments, if I know I'm playing against Low Master, Diamond, or anything below that, I kind of always let them do that thing. Just make sure I don't die, right? Like Often you deal a little bit of economic damage early on to make sure you're safe, and then after you're safe, you let them do that thing. But yeah, not everyone has that same approach. I mean, obviously, Dark beating Percival is not the same as uh, somebody in Platinum League playing against Seroth. Dark may be better than Percival, but Percival is still a pretty good player. You might have to give Fear Dragon a hard time running next time you cast with him. What's happening over at Fear Dragon stream, guys? What is the pickle? Hey, there is the Baneling Nest, by the way. I like it, Pi. I like it. Don't lose too many links here. Please don't take this fight. Obviously, you don't want to fight in the depth like this. You're not going to get much done. It's Phoenix first, guys. The Phoenix is not necessarily great against the Bailing Bust. A Sentry on the way is obviously very promising, but even a single force... Ooh, this is a nice wall, by the way. Actually, do you guys think that you can Bailing Bust here and that would open the doors? I kind of have the feeling that if you Bailing Bust here, there is a gap in the wall, right? Oh my god, the sentry is stuck. But uh, I guess that's not even necessarily bad. <laughs> okay, <laughs> yeah, he's gonna have to cancel it. Now the sentry is no longer stuck. 
It feels that Bully knew that the Baneling boss is coming. We have a force field. We have a Phoenix. Go for the battery. No, that's a very early overcharge, by the way. It doesn't do anything. Mate, no, blow up the battery, please. Holy spy. Mate, if you blow up the battery right now, you actually have a chance. Please blow up the battery with your Banelings. He goes for the Adepts. He does not kill the Adept, guys. I legitimately think if you blow up this battery, then the floodgates are open. You surround this link, send a couple links into the main base. Phoenix useless, Void Ray too slow to catch up. This is a one-day tournament? Yes, just like a European Pro Tour Weekly is a one-day tournament. Or a Go for StarCraft 2 Weekly. It's just a very big one-day tournament with a lot of players and a big prize pool. But it is a one-day tournament. And this day will still be shorter than any day of a home story cup or a stay at home story cup has ever been. I guarantee you guys that. We have five Banelings running into the adapt, but obviously at this point, uh, Bully has created a monstrous wall that is never going to get busted. GG gets called. Bully is on a roll, just destroying all the Roddy stream members at this point. Cyril participating. Yes, Cyril's in. Max Pax is in. Clem is in. Raynor is in. Uh, I mean, we have like 40 high, pretty damn high-level players in this tournament. I think Lambo is in. At least he signed up. Elaser is in. Kalazur is in. Trigger is playing. I know from the Koreans, I saw Solar signing up towards the end. Cure is in. Gumio is in. Byun is in. Showtime is in. Almost everyone is in. Gabe is not in because Gabe had plans. I don't know what Gabe had to do. I love it that Gabe... Uh, Gabe can stream 300 hours a week, but then when there is a $2,500 tournament, he's like, oh yeah, I actually have to date like three beautiful German models today. I apologize. It's like, really, Gabe? Could you have not gone on that date on literally any other day than this day? But it, This tournament will definitely be a, a way past Sarah's bedtime, but obviously Sarah is willing to make an exception for it one time. It's not like this is happening every single day. It's a special day. It's the 25th StarCraft 2 anniversary. Uh, it's going to be long. Just like home story cups are long and stay at home story cups are long. Not everything always needs to be done in two hours, guys. But yo, I know you, uh, you're you trying to be funny, but I don't think it's so funny. Stuff. It, it, uh, 1 a.m., 2 a.m., 3 a.m., then we're done. But it will still probably be shorter than any day of Take TV has ever been. And on top of that, we're giving out a whole lot of prize money for a single day. And obviously, nobody is forced to sign up, right? People are allowed to sign up, but nobody is forced. If they sign up, they know what they're getting into. Round two, fight! In the top right side of Royal Blood, we are looking at the main base of the man who's been slaying some nerds of the Roddy community. First lethal, now Pi. The American Protoss, the bully. In the bottom left side of Royal Blood, we're looking at the main base of the man who tried to make some magic happen with the Banelings. It is Polish by himself. Hi. <laughs> Prediction still open. I know that you guys are used to just the four hour broadcast on the Friday. Today is different. It is four hours for the 500 bucks we normally have on the line. Today we're giving out $2,500 gonna be a very long tourney players know it they will obviously have some time as well in between sometimes their bracket is gonna go quick then it's gonna be slower it's gonna be a fun day it's just a day to spend time together and quality time doesn't need to be rushed isn't gay playing in the finals of Wadi's tournament at the moment pretty sure those are cure and dark but What's the ELO on this match? Pi is around 3.7, 3.8k MMR, maybe 4k. Bully is 4.8k. Hmm? Hmm. I, for one, think it's freaking awesome to see this many people sign up for a StarCraft tournament in the year 2023. This is the kind of stuff that matters. This is the kind of stuff that gives off a very good signal to everyone that we have a community that's alive that we have a community that's willing to participate and that people are still passionate about this game it's like yeah we, we, you could hear oh no it's gonna be a long day yeah well it's not a bad thing <laughs> it's a good thing you know what would be bad guys i'm running a 2500 hundred dollar tournament and have 12 people signing up and the same 12 pro gamers as each and every other time in every other tournament 
<laughs> this is good. <laughs> Not even a little mention on Twitter or something? What do you mean, Langenheide? You mean of uh, the Blizzard account? I saw that ESL tweeted out. But yeah, I am... Uh, I hope that somebody at Blizzard today is aware of the fact that StarCraft is their franchise and 25 years ago they released StarCraft for the PC. It's, it would honestly be very sad if they don't address it at all. The day is not over yet, it's very early on the west coast, so fingers crossed. I'm happy that uh, you're having fun, Holy Squid, and I'm happy that you won, mate. As long as you have fun, right? Like, obviously we know StarCraft 2 is a game of scale and, you know, towards the top 32 everything is going to look somewhat similar, but... It's all about having fun, people having a good run, having some fun games, maybe making some friends along the way. And that's what it's all about. You lost 2-0 and you had a blast. That's awesome. Don't give up on the lower bracket, guys. You obviously don't have to. But if you want to, there is a lower bracket. It's a lot of links on the way for Mr. Pi. 17 links. It's just a link flooding by the looks of it. Last game we went for a bailing bust. This time around, it just seems like we're holding... Oh, we're pulling the drones as well. Okay. So he's gonna drill the drones through the adapts, and then we have a bunch of links fighting at the same time. If there was no shield battery, this would actually be so scary for Bully. But with a shield battery, I'm afraid that it's not going to be very scary for him. I like the idea of Polish Pi, but it seems that Bully was expecting something that was a little cheeky. Without a battery, this build is terrifying. I've lost against it many, many times, but if your battery is finished and you have an adapt on hold position, you are absolutely cooking. And in this case, it is Bully who's absolutely cooking. I love to try it, Opai. It's all good, mate. I don't like this. Like, after we pull the drones, we do have to accept the fact that this was an all-in and we have lost. <laughs> There's no, no need to stay in a game after we sent 15 drones? 15 drones to the other side of the map? <laughs> but yeah, it's okay. All right. That is lovely. I guess we were just trying to share some love and wholesomeness in the chat. Uh, Pi is a very sweet boy. GG. Isn't that sweet, guys? That's what he was doing. He wasn't gonna macro out of it. He was just wishing us all a great night of StarCraft. <laughs> yeah, but Go Prince, as I said, these bolts, they either look amazing or they look very silly. If Bully does not have a shield battery there, that really is a completely different game. And it actually could have been pretty scary for him. I am not afraid to admit that I've lost against the Link Drone Rush in the last two weeks. But if the battery is done, it's not going to work. I think you need to do it early if you want to pull the drones, but it's all good. <laughs>